All right, everyone, I thought I'd share um, our external storage solution for an upcoming trip. We are going on a 4,000 mile trip um, uh, very soon and we needed additional storage. And the reason why we needed more storage other than what we have on our roof is uh, one of the goals of our, um, our trip is to keep the back of our bed here uh, as empty as possible. Um, we are sleeping a family of four, so we'll have two people sleeping down here and one on that platform. So a small child would be on that platform and I will be on the uh, rooftop tent. So we can technically um, add another adult if we want to, wanted to for a total of five people, but we do have four. So uh, we wanted to keep this as open as possible so we can easily pull over and go to bed quickly without having to move a ton of stuff. So as you can see here, um, the back of the truck will pretty be pretty open. Uh, we'll just move a few of these briefcases to the uh, cab of the truck and, uh, uh, and it'll be wide open for sleeping. So on the um, basket, and the basket is a 20 inch by 60 inch basket, I have two of these Home Depot totes. Okay, and on top of the totes, I do have uh, a piece of aluminum cut out so we can use the, the tope as a table for cooking and eating. Um, on this tope, I also have uh, some insulation to keep the heat out of uh, this tope because we do have uh, propane inside this tope and, uh, and other things. So in these tope, we primarily have cooking stuff and um, tools and recovery items on this one. So um, that's what's in those. Um, I do have a water port mounted to the back of this basket and it is mounted to the basket itself here. There's a plate here that it's mounted to and uh, most of the weight is actually on this arm and not the uh, basket itself. I also have a uh, roto pack. Um, this is a 1.75 gallon. Um, I get about 12 miles per gallon so I figured I may need um, some additional fuel for just for backup uh, in case we um, we're a little bit further from a fuel station than anticipated. The uh, the basket is uh, fold foldable, so as you can see here, this entire basket can fold vertical uh, to reduce how how far it sticks out when um, there isn't any totes on it. So I can uh, fold it up if I wanted to. I also went with a, a straight arm here. Um, they do make a curb arm which brings this basket up higher for more clearance but I went with the straight arm uh, and the reason for that is I wanted to be able to cut this arm down and bring the entire basket in as far as possible uh, that way the entire basket isn't uh, stuck out as much so I was actually able to cut, cut it down by about two and a half inch and bring the basket in uh, by that much um, I can definitely bring it in more if I wanted to but uh, this is about how much clearance I have when the gate is down. And when this basket is folded up, it's right up to here perfectly as well. So when it's folded up, I can still put the tailgate down. So that's why I went with uh, two and a half inch. Okay. The, ba the basket is on a Yakima swing arm. Uh, and this will allow us to move the entire thing out of the way so we can uh, get in and out of the uh, back of the truck a little bit easier so uh, that's one of the other reasons why it's, it's stuck out as much as it is because it's because of this wing arm but uh, this provides us a lot more flexibility okay so that's what it looks like there all right so hope this idea helps someone